So we've actually carried out quite a few formula, taking you from using the basic operators, considering the problems of BOD maths, so brackets, operand, division, multiply, addition, and subtraction, introducing you to some functions, which we saw in use, not to mention the autosum facility. And then we looked at adding our functions and then copying and pasting those functions to make life a little easier for you. Now there is one drawback to functions in Excel, and that is when you're looking at a sheet, as we are now, math sample E, sales sheet, we don't actually know, without clicking on a cell, which cells contain formula and which cells contain numbers. So I'd actually have to physically click on a cell and look in the formula bar to see if it contains a formula or a number. So this one contains a number, which might not seem too much of a problem, but what happens if somebody makes this a static 7.6, which currently is correct, but if we then buy more oranges, the result here in the total does not change because we've removed the formula, we've deleted it, we've overtyped it. Whereas the apples, they still have a formula in, we go six, the total changes. So we don't know that that 7.6 or $7.60 is static or a formula without actually clicking on the cell, which is not ideal. If you use the keyboard, you can use the control key and the back quote key. Now the back quote key is the key situated just to the left of the one key. So if you use that key and the control key, you'll find that all of your formulas are revealed and that makes your 7.6 stick out like a sore thumb. Now in this mode, you can't see what the results are. You can only see the formulas. So I can see the sum formulas here. I can see the multiplication formulas here. And I can actually still work on the sheet. It's just that I happen to be now displaying the formulas. And that same little keyboard shortcut, control and the back quote key, returns you back to calculating mode. Now it looks like that table that was there has disappeared, hasn't it? It's just scrolled across because the columns are wider so that we can fit the formulas in. Now there is a menu method for doing the same thing. It's File, Options, Advanced. Scroll right down the Advanced Options until we get to here, which is Show Formulas in Cells instead of their calculated results. One little tick, OK. And we get to exactly the same place as the keyboard shortcut took you, which is Control and the back quote key. Now, it's not always the case that you want to see all the formulas. Sometimes it's just the formula for one cell that you're after. So I might want to know what this formula here is, but what I don't want to do is expose all the formulas in the sheet. Well, we can do that by using another function. Now that function is actually called formula text. So if I go into cell F6, I can say equals, and you can see it appears, formula text, opens a bracket, you need to tell it which cell to look at. So I tell it to look at this cell here, close the bracket and return, and it then displays for me the formula for that cell there. Widen that slightly. So then that stays on the sheet at all times. And if this formula ever changes, I will see the result here because it's a formula checking for the formula. So if I go into there, for example, and actually let's accidentally only get it to add up the first two. And when I press return, the formula text cell, the one here that's checking to display that formula, changes as well because it too is a formula, but it's been asked to check another cell and display its formula. So that's a third way of doing. We have the keyboard shortcut, which displays all of the formulas or none, the file options long winded method, which displays all of the formulas or none, and this clever little one off function that you can use for displaying single formulas from single cells. So it's equals formula text open brackets, the cell you would like the formula for.